Hello, and welcome back to Imminent Christmas. Ha! You thought the Cardinder was the end of Imminent Christmas? It's over when I say it's over. It's over after this video. So, today, we have two anime Blu-ray mystery boxes from two different websites. We have all the anime and MVM, or Anime Online, as their website is called. So, over December, basically, two different websites I noticed were offering anime mystery boxes, and I thought, hey, why not? I mean, it's kind of like getting a present for myself, and I don't know what's inside. Plus, as the description does mention, I did get a few other anime that I do know, uh, hence the anime whole stuff. So we're going to get that out of the way first, and then get into the mystery boxes. So, this is from all the anime, that's from MVM. First up is the only uh, is the only anime Blu-ray I have intentionally bought. Uh, give me a second. Okay, so this was on their weekly sale for four pounds ninety nine. In terms of dollars, it is this amount on the screen now. Probably about eight dollars or something. Uh, so this first one, this is the only other one I bought from MVM, and it is. Busho Shinki, uh, the animation. So, basically, it's a line of model kits with cute anime girls and, like, robot-y armaments attached to them. Um, and, yeah, I didn't know they made a series of this, so for £5, I was like, hey, I'll give that a go. Um, right, I'm going to put that to the side, and I'm going to open up this box, because half of my anime hole is in there, so BRB. All right, I've moved the mystery boxes off to the side for a second. I'm just going to put my purchases in the back so we can have a look as we go through them. So the, this was on the uh, Christmas sale on all the anime. This was a buy one, get one free thing that they, uh, they usually do around this time of year. So I decided to pick up a few other things. So the first one is Turn a Gundam, uh, part one and two. I've never seen um, Turn a Gundam. I hear it's one of the most highly regarded um, Gundam series, and if you've watched my other hauls, you know that I'm quite a big Gundam fan, and I've been collecting the other series um, from Mobile Suit to Zeta and so on. And then we have three more anime. Uh, I do believe two of these I got on the buy one game free and one of them I got kind of just on its own because it was on sale. So one of them is another Gundam, Charles Counter-Attack. So this is the kind of wrap-up quote-unquote of uh, Mobile Suit Zeta and Double Z. This is sort of like the Universal Century end. Um, I didn't have this on DVD, uh, DVD, Blu-ray, you know what I mean. So I decided I definitely needed this to kind of round out the Universal Century. And the other one I got, which is part of the uh, Buying Game Free, is Megalo Box, which is a kind of sci-fi boxing anime, I think. I've heard really good things. It is the full collection, so I uh, thought I'd give that a try as well, as I've heard very good things. And the last one, this is on sale on its own for, I think, £5, which is Promare. Um, no. This is by Gainax, I want to say. This is by the Gurren Lagan people in the Kill a Kill. Uh, I've never seen it before. I've heard very good things about it. It does look mental. Um, I've just kind of been waiting for it to go on sale. And it was perfectly the right time to do that. Anyway, with that out of the way, I'm going to go put these to the side now and we'll get on to the actual mystery boxes. All right, we are back for the mystery boxes. So... Um, that is from MVM, and that's from all the anime. Now, we're going to do MVM first, because these are standard uh, anime Blu-rays, whereas the all the anime are special edition. Now, there is a difference in price as well. That was £45. This, I believe, was £40. Now, the good thing with the uh, MVM mystery box is you're guaranteed not to have any half sets, so if it is a series, it's going to be the full series. So... Without further ado, I'm going to delve my hand in and see what we get first. The first is Devil's Line. Okay, interesting. I've never heard of this series. It's the complete collection. So I don't know if that means it's a series or like OVAs or something. I'm going to have a quick look at the back just to read and I'll be right back. 
All right, so looking at the back, this does seem to be a full series. This is 12 episodes plus OVA. So this is by Sentai. Uh, I, I know they're a publisher uh, in America. Sadly, they don't sell any that's compatible with the UK. I guess MVM is maybe kind of like that. So I intentionally haven't read much of the description, but it does sound like a quite a violent series. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. So that is Devil's Line. Uh, and again, I am glad it is a full series. Next up is Love and Lies. Okay, uh, another one I've not heard of. This is again the complete collection, which I'm assuming means that this is going to be another 12 episode and maybe an OVA thing. I will have a quick check at the back though. Okay, so this is 12 episodes uh, again by Sentai yet again. And this is the blue which got in prison. High school romance is even more complex when the government assigns you a spouse. Oh no, government mandated waifus. That sounds terrible. This, this, this sounds quite an interesting setup actually. Another one I can't say I've heard of. Um, and this is the 15, so it's not quite as gory as the Devil's Line one. Uh, which would be surprising actually, because that's kind of a, a bit of a weird romancey kind of thing. We, we have grown control to Psycho Electric Girl. Now, reason I laugh, I have bought this. Um, MVM were having a sale in the summer and I picked this up because it was very cheap. However, I do have a friend who does like anime about sort of cute girls doing cute things, so I will be giving this to him. Um, I haven't got around to watching it myself yet, but it does sound like an interesting uh, series, and it is a series. Let me double check. Oh, we have the rare 13 episode um, anime. There you go. Well, it's still a good pull, though. Um, if I hadn't gone all out and bought loads of stuff in the sale, it would have been more of a surprise. Ooh, we have Battle, Battle Girl High School. Wait, I think I've heard of this one. Um... I want to say that this is the one with cute girls with guns, but they're not guns, really. They're kind of, uh, you know. But this is the complete collection again. Absolute, so far, we have had four series. This is a real, this is really good value for a mystery box. I'm going to check the back again. This does indeed include all 12 episodes, and all of those girls look adorable. So, um, yet again, I haven't really read much of it, but it seems like a kind of high school kind of slice of life thing with cute girls but also a world saving plot I guess and our final one is the girl in twilight sorry that 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 was it, no there's uh, that was very difficult to read sorry the girl in twilight very nice right can't save here to this either I'm gonna take a look at the back so this is again a 12 episode uh, series this tagline's interesting. It started off as a harmless experiment, and then things went from sad to multiverse. I'm always up for a good multiverse anime. I quite like the um, the art style of this as well. It it's a bit of a callback to like mid two thousands kind of Full Metal Panic esque kind of stuff. Right, I'm gonna put this to the side, and we'll take a uh, last look at this these five series. All right, I've got to say, I'm pretty darn impressed with this. So, admittedly, I did get one double. That happens with mystery boxes, you always run the risk of that. But honestly, this is five series here, for like £40, and the fact they're all on Blu-ray is quite interesting, especially for the fact that I've not really heard of any of these. I want to say I may have heard of this, or seen some like footage of it, or some clips or whatever, but overall, these all sound pretty interesting. Um, so I'm looking forward to giving them a watch. Anyway, I'm going to move those to the side now and we'll get on to the all the anime mystery box. Alright, so I went ahead and cut all of these open anyway. Uh, although I'm still going to have to get it out of the box, I guess. So as I mentioned, these are special edition uh, Blu-rays. So, there's, there's a decent chance we're going to get some movies as well, I think. Uh, but I always appreciate a good special edition, because it comes with like art books and stuff like that. So, you might be able to read through the thing what this is, but our first special edition... Oh, our sound. Oh, wait, I think I've heard of this. On Gaku, our sound. That is obviously the uh, recreation of the Beatles, uh, Abbey Road there. A film by Kenji... 
Iwasawa. I don't think I've ever heard of this, but... Or maybe, I, I don't know, I feel like... I feel like I've heard the title, Our Sound. Now, I will say, I do have a weakness for anime about music. Um, anything involving a band like Mongolian Chop Squad or K-On or something like that. I am always in, in for, uh, up for, so this is really cool. And it seems to come with the art book as well, which uh, I always appreciate, along with the sort of a sturdy case. That is really cool. I'll put that to the side. And next up, we, oh God, this is a heavy one. We have, we have Josie, the tiger and the fish. So that was a little bit hard to read, to be honest. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever heard of this one. This, of course, is a movie as well. I'm just going to double check. Man, okay, no wonder this is heavy. So this is indeed a movie. Its runtime is just over an hour and a half. But this comes with a ton of stuff. So it comes with a soundtrack CD, a 72-page uh, collector's booklet, a, like, recreation of a children's book, and a location map, along with, like, extras on the thing. That is crazy amounts of uh, stuff. Now, admittedly, I haven't seen the movie, but... That sounds really cool. I mean, it does look like a heartwarming, kind of beautiful anime movie. I'm going to have a quick check of what the bonuses of uh, on uh, our sound is, actually. All right. So lucky I did check on this, actually, because it has a 12-page booklet, but also five art cards and a poster. That's actually really cool. So uh, that's what I do love <coughs> about all the anime's, like, special versions of... Uh, Ooh, and, ooh, what is this? Anti-Magic Academy, the 35 Test Platoon? I think I'm reading that right. Anti-Magic Academy, yeah. Okay, I have never heard of this. Uh, interesting. Let's read on the back. Nice, so this is actually a 12-episode uh, series and comes with seven art cards, which is very cool. Yeah, I've never heard of this, but that is pretty cool. I mean, it's got cute girls, it's got guns, it's got magic, presumably, if they're an anti-magic school. Next, ooh, good lord, this is a heavy one as well, is El, El Hazard. Oh, yo, I've heard of El Hazard. Uh, yeah, okay, so I can't remember if this is it. I want to say it's a series, but hang on, let's check. So this is actually kind of cool. So, um, I think that it's like a short OVA series, but this contains El Hazard, The Magnificent World, episode 1 to 7, and the second series, episodes 1 to 4. That is really cool, actually, uh, and it has a 52-page booklet as well. So I've heard of El Hazard. I think it's like an older series. Obviously, this is kind of on Blu-ray, so it's upscaled somewhat. That is really cool. Uh, so, so far, Fingers crossed, four out of four, I haven't had any doubles. This is the final one. And this is My Hime, which is not a series I've ever heard of, I don't think. Uh, I'm guessing this is a movie, but let's check. All right, I was wrong. It is a 26 episode series. That's really cool. So this comes with a 44 page booklet, uh, along with loads of on-disc uh, things. So it seems to be about, like, uh, supernatural powers and stuff with, I'm guessing, high school people. I've never heard of My Hime. Um, I feel like I've seen the font or something before, but, yeah, this doesn't ring a bell. Anyway, I'll uh, move everything to the side, and then we'll take a final look at this. Just before we do go through this as well, uh, I'll have put it at the start, hopefully, in captions. But this was the green box. Um, all the anime had two different boxes. I think it was green and blue. I went for green because it's my favourite colour. And I've got to say, I think this is the best all the anime mystery box I've ever had. Uh, I think this is my third or maybe my fourth now. And so far, no doubles, uh, which already puts her ahead of stuff. But also, I've had two series, which is kind of rare. All the anime tend to give a lot of movies and one series in their box and the fact that there's like two series one of them wait well two series and like an OVA kind of collection as well is kind of cool also a lot of these do sound really interesting I'm incredibly looking forward to the anti-magic school 
Alyssa Wound as well, I'm definitely going to be giving a uh, watch of. I might do some like short review videos or whatever. I have been meaning to review anime for quite a while, but I just never got round to it. But you know, I may do so. So if so, keep an eye out because some of these may be featured. Anyway, I'm going to bring everything back now and we'll wrap up. All right. Well, I've stacked them all up, and suffice to say, I should be kept entertained for a little while. Uh, if you have watched my other anime mystery box openings, I have yet to watch any of those uh, series or movies as well, so I have quite a lot going on. But honestly, I was thoroughly impressed. Now, obviously, there are series I've bought that I intentionally bought, so, you know, those are things I'm going to look forward to watching anyway. But honestly, a lot of these things are really cool. I thought the MVM uh, mystery box, even though it was cheaper, did offer quite a lot of value for like five full series. Uh, that, I don't know, it's quite unprecedented really, because generally speaking, I know movies aren't really cheaper per se, but you know, it tends to be a bit more cost effective. You would have, you know, a Blu-ray with a movie on for one disc as opposed to a series which usually has two or three. So yeah, I was thoroughly impressed, and honestly, the all the anime one, as I just mentioned, is probably the best one I've had so far. There's an interesting variety of, like, movies and series and stuff, so I'm definitely looking forward to those. If you've seen any of these, please let me know in the comments below. And also let me know if you got any of the mystery boxes. I am actually curious to see what the other all the anime mystery box uh, contained as well because you know I, if this is the quality to go by I imagine blue is probably pretty cool as well although green is the best color anyway let me know what your best favorite color is in the comments below I've, I've got to stop saying things like that in my video um well that about wraps it up thank you guys very much for watching uh, I hope you've all had a lovely Christmas and I'll be seeing you in the new year for some other videos because I've, I've got a ton and if I'm going to do some anime reviews as well, I'm probably going to be very busy for the next several years. Um, right, well, until next time, goodbye!